Hi, I'm Michelle and this is my co-host Bella and welcome to the Bunny Dojo. Today we're just going to give you a very quick overview of the things that you find in an emergency kit for rabbits. All right, first thing is gas drops. Gas drops obviously are for when rabbits get gas. These are infant gas drops. You could get them at any Rite Aid or CVS. I got these at Stop and Shop for $3.99. If if your bunny has stopped eating, of course, you know that's very serious and they could be going into GI stasis, which in that case, you want to make sure you have critical care on hand. Critical care has all the nutrients in it and if your bunny isn't eating on their own, you can actually mix it up in water and syringe feed it. You can use a big one like this or if your bunny is having difficulty taking it, you can use a smaller syringe with more water, you just have to give a lot more of that. You could also smash up pellets. Sec uh, next, what a uh, meloxidil or medicam. This is pain anti-inflammatory medicine. It can be given for any number of reasons, including GI stasis or arthritis. Other ones you want to keep on hand are propulsin and reglin. These are medicines that you get from your vet with a prescription. If your bunny go, does go into GI stasis, you will get these as gut motility to help their gut going again. You usually don't use the whole thing, so it's good to keep hold of them until they expire. You want to make sure also that you have papaya tablets. This, these are will help digest uh, if the bunny has any uh, blockage or anything that they're having trouble digesting. You can use also use canned pineapple juice. Other things you want to have on hand are um, nail clippers. Uh, these are big ones for Bella and these are little ones for my dwarf buddies Fred, Barney, and Bugsy. Also, if you're your bunny obviously cleans herself or himself, but if your bunny does get urine stains and you're unable to, uh, your buddy's, if your bunny was sitting in their own urine because they were sick and you want to get them out, you can actually use baby cornstarch. You rub it in the fur or and comb it out or brush it out. You can also use baby wipes. Uh, Another thing you want to have on hand is eye lubricant. This is for if a bunny's eyes get dried out. You could also have saline solution, just regular over-the-counter saline solution. You just have to make sure that it doesn't have any medicine in it, that it just has plain saline. And then you can use that to wash your bunny's eye out. Bunny's eyes are extremely delicate, but uh, those are but those are things that they can use. Another thing that we keep on hand is uh, Revolution, which you're probably familiar with if you have a cat or a dog. It's flea medicine. At, at the rabbit rescue, we like to keep this on hand because if a rabbit has been outside and in the wild, that a lot of them have fleas. So uh, one of the first things we do is we check for fleas, and if they have it, we treat them with Revolution right away before we get them to the vet. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. I'm going to put um, an in-depth in explanation about each of these items in my next video. Uh, this was just the quick version under five minutes. If you wanted to just know the different items that you are typically found in an emergency kit. Um, if you, if I've forgotten anything, please make sure to leave me a comment because the reason for this channel is that we can share and learn from each other and bring the bunny community together. Um, so thank you so much for listening. Hope to see you next time. Uh, don't forget to give us big ears up and subscribe so you can keep up on Bella and my other bunnies and all the latest. Thank you.